this video is for anybody that wants to quit their job and start their own business or, you know, get into entrepreneurship somehow. Um, and this is directed towards men of all ages because, and really what sparked me to make this video is that I hear the same thing from pretty much every person who wants to start a business, who hasn't just taken the leap and is almost like checking with me first to see if they should do it, which by the way is, um, not where you want to be. If you want to start a business, checking with other people to see if that you should do it or not. Um, it should be a decision that, you know, you feel like you're ready to make, which doesn't mean you're going to have everything, um, you know, everything figured out day one, um, especially starting a business. But the entire point of this video and the reason I wanted to make this video was because I talked to a lot of guys and I think they're confused about entrepreneurship. So a lot of people use this phrase. Um, I hear it all the time, passive income. And, you know, everyone wants to make passive income and they want to automate their life and they want to do this, that, and the other. Um, they want to find a side hustle that's going to make them a lot of money. They want to quit their job and, and do something else for money. And I just want to explain something to you. And this is really important that you, um, you understand this, especially as a man. If you're trying to make money in an effort to avoid working, uh, if you're trying to like chase this like fucking passive income thing where you think you're going to, um, you know, leave your job and work less, you know, day one and make more money online. Um, I just want to explain something to you because, and, and I'm speaking from my own real life experience here. I was never trying to find passive income when my monthly income went from fucking three grand a month to 50 grand a month and then more than 50 grand a month. But really it was that gap between the two where I had my biggest, you know, increase in income. But never during that time was I chasing passive income. I was building active income. That's really what I was doing and what I do right now. And I started to hear it from a lot of people and I started to have conversations with other you know, men, especially when I started to do my elite business coaching, when I started to coach um, other people on how to build their businesses and make money online. People started to ask me more advice. And I would hear things from people saying, well, I wanna build passive income. I wanna this, that, and the other when they haven't even built any active income, as in they're completely fucking off at their job. They don't give a fuck about working hard or working smart. They just want to give up their job and not work altogether and just somehow magically make money online. And I'm telling you right now, it's like, if you actually think that that's like how it works, you're you're kind of an idiot, okay? And I think it's bad advice for people to just like sit here and tell you, oh yeah, you just fucking quit your job and you know, you just start making money online and um, you, you can make passive income through through the internet and through, um, you know, whatever the fuck. It's just not true. Like you have to realize that if you quit your job, like if you were to quit your nine to five today, and then start your own business, you're gonna be working two to three times as much, especially at the start. So for you guys that are trying to cop out of work, cop out of your nine to five, just because you don't wanna work, I'm telling you right now, as a man, you're always gonna to have to work. Even the dudes that are fucking retired and the dudes that make a bunch of money and stop working, all they ever do after a certain uh, amount of time, all they want to do is apply themselves again and get back to work. Guys, we were made to build shit. We were made to create, especially as men, as men. Made to build big shit. And this whole mentality of, well, I'm going to leave my nine to five and I'm going to just work two hours a day and make five times as much money. It's a fallacy. 
Are there people that do it? Can you get to that point? Yes. But you have to make sure that you're chasing the right shit. Like, I promise you, you don't want to... You can only fucking sit on the beach and sit martinis for so long until you're like, okay, I want to use my gifts, talents, and abilities and actually um, apply myself in this life and contribute to fucking society. But regardless of that, the whole, the, really the overarching theme of this fucking video is this. Before I, before I left my nine to five, I wasn't just... Um, And really it was more than a nine to five. It was like a fucking seven to seven every fucking weekday. But I took that job seriously. And I busted my ass at that job and worked my way up the ladder. Me and my brother worked our way up the ladder at that job. And I, I, um, I really took that job seriously. And because I took that position seriously when I left and when I started my own business, because really I was doing Uber and Lyft at first. And also building my personal brand and starting to coach people. When I started to do that, I realized that all the skills that I was building at that previous job, I was able to now use in my new endeavor, which was entrepreneurship. And instead of working seven to seven, I was now working fucking six to 11 every day. No, I wasn't, um, you know, doing manual labor anymore. But I was on my phone 12, 13, 14 hours a day. And I realized something. I realized that everything that I had had been doing before, I just, it's not that I wasn't passionate about it. I mean, you can't always be passionate about every fucking second of your fucking day. That's just the truth. But it was always that feeling of being at a job and knowing that I can use my skills and my expertise for something better. And then when I started to do it, it didn't feel like traditional work. It felt like I was becoming a builder, like a builder of something that I was going to then own, which is my business, which is what I did and what I'm doing. And it's a different thing. So guys, for those of you that want to leave your nine to five, for those of you that want to you know, do social media for a living. I know there's a lot of people that follow me that, you know, you want to be sponsored. You want to be a coach. Um, you want to make money online. You want to change your own life. You want to leave the nine to five, but understand that you're not running from your nine to five to an easier life. It's actually gonna, I'll, I'll argue and say, it'll make your life more difficult at first because you're going to be uncomfortable because you're going to be forced to grow. That's what entrepreneurship is all about is you as a man, you have to grow into becoming an entrepreneur. So at first, it's the hardest thing you've ever done. It Really, entrepreneurship is one of the hardest things you can do, in my opinion. But at first, it's hard because you're not actually ready to, you're not that guy yet, right? That can meet um, the standard that you're setting for yourself. You're growing into that person. So once you become that person, then you start to get the results from it, right? But you never want to act like you're running away from something and you're going to run towards an easier life. You're going to get stronger in the process of entrepreneurship, but get this fucking passive income bullshit out of your head and start to build something. Worry about active income. Worry about taking your $3,000 a month to a $6,000 a month, to a $12,000 a month, to a $24,000 a month, to a $60,000 a month. Worry about turning that 30k a year into 150 grand a year right all all you guys want to be fucking millionaires overnight okay well what does your schedule look like for the next three days how about the next three weeks how about the next three months see you never want to overthink this shit it's actually very simple but thinking that you're gonna that you're gonna leave the nine to five and then walk into an easier life it's going to lead to a life of misery. I promise you want to be ready for that shit. You want to be walking into something that's going to force you to grow. So that's that no victim.